Hello, friends and family, and welcome to the 2023 Las Vegas Challenge presented by Innova. This is a Disc Golf Pro Tour Elite Series event and the first stop on the Pro Tour. I'm Holly Finley, and I'm here with Connor O'Reilly, and we will be your commentary team for the season. Thank you to Ace Run Productions. Super happy to be joining and getting to check out some FPO com coverage all year. Katrina Allen really throwing the disc well this weekend and a day like today, she's probably feeling confident on that putting green. See some shakeup happening on the leaderboard as you would expect day two. And hole 10 is a par five out of probably the tightest gap of any of the longer holes on the course. You can choose to bail out to the right though if you choose, if you want, although you will sacrifice some distance. You got a hazard bunker playing about 450 feet off the tee and an out of bounds golf green there on the left as you approach. The slope drags the disc down to the right as you come in so you really want to land this one on the proper angle coming into the green. We've got Missy Gannon up first here on the 10th hole. Bit of a misfire but enough power to bust through the limbs. Yeah, sacrificing still a bit of distance but she's in bounds and this is a par five so a lot of room to work with and i don't see that very often own scoggings taking that right gap yeah nice... i didn't i don't even really consider it when i when i'm looking just at because the distance you lose out on but i feel like with it being a par five for the fpl field it, it makes a lot of sense because you know it is a way bigger gap but if you're a confident player and you trust your mechanics as long as your head is not in the worst place ever. This gap feels very repeatable. Jennifer Allen with a perfect drive, center cut. Solid looking swing there for Caroline. A little nose up, but gets out to a Pretty solid position, doesn't have a tree in her swing either. A couple spares trees on that left side where, depending on where you are, they can affect you quite a bit. Missy Gannon with a great second shot. She's in position to attack for birdie. Own a little much turn on this, but plays a nice overstable disc that flexes back quickly and <laughs> looks like it might have scared her for a moment, but good disc selection on. She trusted it and it worked out great. Interesting the way Caroline kind of has her left arm up above the disc as she's running up, but then she kind of tucks it right. normally. It starts and out nice Gary, Garrett girthy-ish and then it's Absolutely. back to a non-Garrett form. Maybe that's how she generates her power. Yeah, the, the off arm is a lever that I see a lot of players not quite utilizing as much as they can. You don't want to be too stiff with it. You want to kind of let it swing out behind you and really come up, uppercut down, up through the shot, give you some momentum. But if you're a player like Double G, you can utilize it to add even more power and really unlock another gear. Jen Allen hits the green, so she'll be putting for Eagle. Own Scoggins looking at Birdie. Ooh, a lot of highs are out of Missy's hand, but she gets to the ground fast enough and, yeah, makes She's, that one look easy. Yeah, looking at birdie putt as well. We see the first layup from Caroline. Maybe she's already learning some lessons. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, some of these par fives, if they're a little softer, I think taking that easy birdie is really... That's Jen Allen's second oh, eagle no. opportunity, okay. and she looked a bit timid on that putt. But she'll have a drop-in birdie, so no harm done. 
Yeah, if you've never had an eagle putt in a tournament before, it definitely has an extra layer of pressure and want on it. Own making her comeback par putt. Missy made easy work of that birdie here on the 10th hole. She finds her way back to even and is going to be looking to get herself under par as we have some of the FPO field moving fast. And I guess at this point Jen's pretty much fully adopted the, the turbo upside down tap and I don't, I don't think we really see anything else now at this point. Three birdies in a par. Let's check out hole 11, par 3, 357 feet. In previous years, this little uh, creek stream on the right side was not out of bounds, but it is this year. We also have an out of bounds on the left uh, stream, also deep behind the basket. 357 feet, slightly downhill. This is a birdieable hole. But like Connor's been saying, this could be another bait hole. Try too hard and end up OB. Let's see what Missy Gannon has for us. Yeah, at this range, the way that out of bounds pinches on both sides and deep, I think being 30 feet short is very repeatable and very good. Perfect shot from Missy. She'll be putting from birdie from circle's edge. The trick here is to hit it flat. You want it to hold maybe just barely right but you do not really want it to turn as you see out of gin because it doesn't really have the time to fight back most of the time gin going over that water feature we mentioned she's out of bounds caroline showing how much power she has on that forehand it rips it over just a little too much though Yeah, 350 is no joke for a forehand range to feel like you can attack, and she's shown she has that power. Own Scoggins pushing it with the right side. Hopefully that'll hise her back in bounds, and it does. She'll have a circle two look at birdie. That low ceiling could make it tricky, also being a built-up basket. Might be a layup. Yeah, I want to give a big thanks to the LVC crew, not only for moving us to two courses, but a lot of these willow tree greens that had very low branches in the past we've seen them trim them up to at least be you know right above the top band so where at least when you're in circle one you have a pretty clean look at it for the most part uh, it can make the circle two putts trickier but honestly strategy wise i think that's that's good it makes makes it more challenging if you're not quite as close also i asked jeff to move pine cones on hole seven at the millennium course and teed off first day on it and they were all clean so amazing to see stuff like that let's get a run back for missy gannon cashing that birdie putt here on the 11th wow big money missy she makes big putts y'all our first run back of the round two coverage jen allen getting a bogey here after unfortunately throwing out of bounds off the tee. Own oh, taps in for par. Caroline gonna clean up for that bogey as well. Her and Jen both just got a little too much turn either way. Missy starts the back nine, two straight birdies to move to under par. Only player on the car to under par. Let's see how these other players bounce back.
gonna say it. Hole 12 is a par three at 363 feet. The defining feature of this hole is this ridge of hills on the left side here. You really gotta push it out to the right flat and have it have a late fade. This tree you see has been trimmed up much. We only have the bare trunks now. All that stuff on the bottom has been trimmed. And like I said, these low willows are now nice and tidy. So the green is a lot better here, which is very nice to see. Most of these players looking to get this one to push flat most of the flight in order to get that distance. And Missy just had a bit too much hyzer. There is a hidden blind bunker on the left side high that you can't see from the tee. So it pays to swing it out right and land more on the flat side versus a flare skip up to the top. Yeah, certain winds can make this hole very tricky, but a day like today, definitely going to be in the, the range of the longer throwers in the FPL field. But like you said, I feel like a lot of these par threes on this track for you guys are kind of baiting you to do more than you need and uh, a lot of the longer holes you can really score go out there with a safe game plan and kind of maybe play safer on those par threes can serve your strokes really grab them on the par fives par fours jennifer allen sends hers a bit too far and she is out of bounds long and as we've seen all day from own her upshot is right by the basket she must practice those a lot. Yeah, she's like 14 for 15 right now. Well, how does she get to perfect. be a, such a good putter if she, her upshots are so close? <laughs> she just throws back and forth between baskets and, yeah, right. I guess chips them away from the basket and then puts them. <laughs> <laughs> Missy pitches up. She'll have an easy par. Caroline with her second shot. Looks like a Prodigy P3 there. So we've seen a couple different manufacturers out of Caroline. I'm guessing she does not have a manufacturer sponsor at this point. Legit Disc Golf is listed as her sponsor on UDisc. Oh, Jen gave that one a solid bid. I love the Annie bid. Yeah, she had a good flight on that one. It looked like it had enough pace to get there if it just got around the tree. Caroline Henderson, Chase Card, Las Vegas Challenge, unsponsored. Somebody needs to check this lady out. Yeah, I think uh, safe bet to say she'll probably have some offers a sponsor by the end of the year. By next week. Or definitely next <laughs> year. Maybe next week. Probably a midseason pickup, though. Here we are on hole 13, 375 feet of par four. You are teeing it down in the bowl. You cannot see the basket, so you're throwing up and over the ridge. If you have the distance like Jen Allen, you could throw it a bit long and end up in the hazards. There's no shame in just getting over the ridge, getting a nice safe upshot, taking a three, and moving on to the next hole. I feel like this is a generous par four. Yeah. We do have an out of bounds string on the left side. So it's important not to send your shot too high and too hysery. Yeah, I think you play a half swing, make sure to push it flat, let it stall fade, don't let it swing fade, and you should be chipping up for minimum a comeback circle one putt. Own risking pushing that left side, but throws a pace that's not gonna allow her to skip too hard. Now we see a Discraft disc, an Onyx looks like. The nice spike hyzer shot from Caroline, also safe in the fairway. Yeah, she's had a few releases be a bit higher than she intended, I feel like today, but the wind is down, so she's able to not have to get too squirrely out there. I love watching Jennifer Allen throw, one of our biggest distance wow, throwers. Wow, what a smooth hyzer to push to that bunker. That was some she, great distance. She could eagle putt again. This will be her third attempt at eagle. I hope she gets this one. On Scoggins. Ooh, she made herself a believer for a second. 
It's hard not to yell out one time in the mic. <laughs> All right, Caroline with her second shot into this tricky green. I look to be a... Very controlled. Harpoon? Who makes the harpoon? Is that a Lone Star? No, I'm not sure. Missy, a great touch on that approach. The out of bounds bunker is just in front of the basket, so it's hard to not go Jennifer. more than bullseye long. Oof, misses the eagle putt, but she'll again have just to drop in birdie. I like to see her giving that one a bid the way she did, though. Me too. Oh, an easy birdie from her. I'm just still um, impressed. Jen has had three eagle ops in this round. She's. I just can't. Every think time of, she's had that par, that or almost every time she's had that opportunity, she's given given herself a chance. The way she's thrown the disc. Nice, good putt from Missy Gannon, sneaking that putter right over the edge of the cage, and it's just getting colder as the day goes on. You can see Caroline put on her headband to protect the ears. We were putting our gloves back on about this hole this morning. Yeah, one of those rare days where it was warmer in the morning for you ladies than it was for us guys as the day went on. Cloud cover picked up and that wind kind of showed itself. Little card celebration. And Owen battles her way back to even. Missy's still moving well on the back nine. Birdies for everyone. Hole 14 is going to be a 777 foot par five. You've got out of bounds in front of you, so you have to clear the cart path, I believe, to get in. Pretty generous gap, though the lower you go, the more you can penetrate, so it's going to be hard to get distance if you throw it over those trees. This golf green coming in is going to be something you have to choose whether you want to lay up short or try to drive up there for the big eagle on that second shot and uh, super slopey green. Missy Gannon up first on the 14th hole. She, she plays low through that gap. Good looking drive. Safe in the fairway. Own trusting that hyzer finish of her disc. Sends it to the right side, swings back into the fairway. Yeah, a bit late on the release from Owen there, but she's had a couple misfires where she's chosen the proper disc. And chosen, I should say, and uh, it's worked out for her. Caroline puts a bit of an ante angle, nose down on that, and sends it towards the out of bounds. Unfortunately, sneaks over the line. We saw her do uh, more uh, fake throws on the tee than I've seen on any previous hole. So she must have really tried to put some distance on that, knowing it's a par five and maybe just tried a little too hard off the tee. Yeah, maybe she saw that opportunity for Eagle there and wanted to showcase some distance. But So now we have Caroline throwing three. Yeah, nice hard flat rip on a stable disc. Good She's looking have shot. An opportunity to save par. Absolutely. Another late low release out of Owen, but fights back to edge, and Birdie is definitely in play. Missy looks like she's playing her tour series Thrasher. Yeah, she's played this one pretty textbook so far. Jen definitely has some want on that. Gonna try to clear the green. Ooh, she is almost there. And it almost Ooh. curled off to the left. One disc's worth. She's out of bounds on the green. Tough pill to swallow. 
Unscoggin's throwing her third shot with her Tour Series Leopard into the green, and that looks good. She'll have a birdie putt from there. This is Caroline's fourth shot. A little low, but slides up to a very makeable putt. Going to probably have to go for that straddle stance again, though, so let's see how she handles it. Missy Gannon, CTP on her upshot. Yeah, Missy played that one exactly how you want to if you want that stress-free birdie on the 14th. Shin going to have a little more stress, but able to most likely settle for par. Unfortunate when you're a player who can get that eagle or easy birdie. Caroline's far enough off the tree to do her comfortable staggered stance. Taking her time, like you said, being deliberate. Mix do. It's a great par save after going OB off the tee. I think the shorter the putt, the more own has a little bit of wobble on it. That's what makes it go in. <laughs> Maximum surface area on the chain is easier to drop into that cage. So if anybody ever tells y'all the wobble is not good, just come show them this coverage. Show them own Scoggins putt. Show them own. Maybe show them Jay Yeti. If you've ever watched Jay Yeti putt, he's got the same stuff going. Missy Gannon capturing herself a birdie here on the 14th. Couple of pars, couple of birdies. Yeah, Missy's got a clean back going. Here we are, hole 15, 439 feet. We do have out of bounds left and right on the cart path. You wanna get a distance drive out as far as possible and then choose a nice low upshot into this green. This is a good green. You see it's kind of in a bowl. You can just skid it right up to the basket, get yourself a par and move along. I'm very interested with the course design's choice at a par three on this one for the ladies field. When you see a hole like hole eight chosen as a par four. This one plays longer and it is flat ground. Missy Gannon taking the right side, clips the tree, but she's safe in bounds. She'll have a long upshot. But like we said in yesterday's coverage, sometimes the par doesn't matter. You just need to know what a good score on each hole is. And for this one, a three is going to play pretty solid. Not quite the turn you might want out of the hand for Caroline. She's going to have to deal with those trees. And uh, unfortunate because there's a lot of space on this one. Jennifer Allen with a nice full send. She's safe in the fairway. She should have a pretty routine upshot into the green. I feel like as long as you get to where you can see the basket, the upshot is fairly straightforward. And ideally you can kind of push it off a little bit more to the left just so you have some more options and you can maybe play it into that slope on the side of the green. Either way, if you're down in that little bowl, putting back up at the basket, you feel pretty good. A little bit of a branch, gonna grab her pup, but not really, or her throw, but more mental than physical, but definitely looks like it had some effect. Fought through though. That's a great shot. Two solid ups from the ladies that landed on the right side of the fairway and the wind gets underneath Owen's putter, but that's just an everyday putt for Owen Scoggins. Yeah, especially in that tailwind. Shin 
Jen smartly laying that one up. You see, he has a nice attackable wind for a right hand putter. Gonna drop it in there. It's a good scramble from Missy Gannon. Saving her par here on the 15th. Oof, and own. Showing one of her rare misses that you'll see maybe once or twice a tournament. Caroline able to get that one through with a nice leg kick in that follow through. Own picking up a bogey. The wind's looking pretty aggressive on this hole. Jen taking her time for that short tap in. You can't take anything for granted out here. Yeah, especially like we said, sometimes the innocent little cage miss stands up and turns into something much more. And the 16th is going to be another tight gap. This par 5 is 888 feet. Big open space to start. You can really choose the angle you want. As we approach, we have an out of bounds pond to the right and this golf green just in front. This one got tucked a little bit more to the right than in years past, bringing this kind of willow tree into play on that approach. And the out of bounds is very close behind the basket if you're trying to run an aggressive circle two putt. Missy Gannon taking the smaller right gap. Look at this. <laughs> I love these types of shots out here in Vegas and Cali where you can kind of worm burn it, but you still go in 200 feet. Yeah, you can have, there's some shots you'll throw where you hit hard enough and a good enough wing angle to where you've traveled further after you hit the ground than you did before. Bit wide there, but the stability of the disc shows late. And that's going to be a solid spot. Though she'd probably like to get a little more to left just to cut some distance. Yeah, Jin played that one very smooth, just prioritizing hitting the gap, not trying to put too much on it. And this gap's a little bigger than that camera angle might have let on. Um, definitely tight enough to make you think, though. Four solid drives. We've got Own throwing her second. We see that's kind of her play, you know, it, sort of a later release, swinging it out to the right, letting the disc work back left. She's been consistently showing throughout the course of these last two rounds that the low play is a lot of times very consistent in terms of how you're playing on the golf course. Caroline with a solid second up shot. From that position, she could get a four. Yeah, she's probably going to be within 350 to the pin, so definitely going to be attackable. Missy also going to be looking to attack. Puts it even wider, which is going to give her a better angle into that green. Jennifer Allen playing slightly conservative. Feel like she could have thrown a little bit further if she wanted to, but not necessary. Still shows how much power she has. Out class in the card by a solid 80 feet on just two smoothies. <laughs> two smoothies. Own safe in the fairway again. Now Caroline can send her third shot into the green and get herself a birdie putt. We're going to need that to hyzer her back quick and stay in bounds. Ooh. And it doesn't. She'll be out of bounds in that corner. Slower disc, just never fighting back against that left to right wind. Needed to play the miss being a line at the basket fading left instead of hanging it out to the right. Solid up from Missy. She'll have a birdie putt from about 15 feet. Looking yeah. good here on hole 16. 
good wind set up there and doesn't have to worry about putting back at the downslope. So. Wow, Jen Allen, she's so close. She just did a standstill putter smoothie up shot. <laughs> She'll have a drop in birdie. Own choosing to throw maybe a mid range there and bases it. They gave Caroline a spot up near the green, say, so I think she crossed. Definitely was hugging that line the whole way. I'm a specialist at the try to grab the mini, miss it a couple times. Maybe you trip once. Especially after good putts for me. I, I'm, I'm liable to miss it two or three times. <laughs> Own capturing an easy par here on the 16th. Missy Gannon putting for birdie. She's really dialed it in on this back nine and starting to move up the leaderboard because of it. Jen Allen making easy work of a birdie as well. Yeah, showed maturity as a player the way she played that hole. Missy really starting to move down under par. Owen's still at even. Here we are, hole 17, 516 feet, par four. We've got out of bounds on the left with the cart path. The right is fairly open. It's just got a lot of trees to deal with if you happen to end up over there. You can send a nice straight shot as far as you can get, a simple up shot and get yourself a fairly easy birdie here. I feel like this is another generous par four. Yeah, we're really seeing this theme on this course for the FPO field, score on those par fours and fives, conserve your strokes on the par threes and conserve your stress. Maybe play a fairway driver or one of your flippier distance drivers here just to make sure you don't skip left. But there are a couple trees over there you don't really want to be throwing in. Jen and Missy getting caught up on that right side. They'll have a challenging scramble shot. Own shows that she's very comfortable with that line all day. And now we've learned her well. play. Yeah. At first we thought it was a little too right, and now we know how it's going to work out. Every time Caroline does the turn of her yeah. disc, I think she's about to throw it with the claw grip. And then it's back to the regular yeah. power grip. I do that as well to line up okay. my, my fingers and it, it helps align your wrist in a way that's like cocked to get the nose down. So I, hmm. I think that's something I like to do as well. But the way she does it, she has her left foot slightly forward and her left hand on the disc. So I keep thinking she's going to throw a lefty. Interesting. Okay. Missy Gannon, she's in a good position to send her upshot all the way to the basket. Wow. And she does. Even though she misfired off the tee, she got her upshot in. She'll be looking at birdie. Let's see that run back. Thank you to Flight Factory. Matches that angle nicely to the hill and gets some gentle ground play for it. Jen going flex over stable, looks like. Mid-range maybe. Maybe an overstable rock three or something of the sort. She's got herself a circle putt for birdie. Looks like an envy out of Caroline. She's really shown to be throwing almost all the major manufacturers today. Cool to see her utilizing all the different tools in the game. I see that the open bag people have been very successful on tour. Yeah, I think having comfort in every shot you're throwing, knowing that you have a disc that's going to work is always important. But I think also you can make a lot of stuff happen if you're good enough. So there's a there's a healthy mix to find. Own Scoggins with a great up shot. She'll be looking at a birdie putt. But if you can make it happen and you got the tools, now we're talking. Good bid, just a bit high. She expected that left to right to kind of drop it out of the air, but maybe not as strong as players thought. And Jen not quite able to catch middle. Own sneaks her birdie putt in a little high, doesn't matter. 
I love how fast her putt is. Mm -hmm. Easy par for Caroline Henderson. Missy with the incredible scramble shot. Getting herself a birdie. You ever see two birdies on this card? For this card on the whole, averaged a quarter stroke under par today. I think it was just a matter of not being in a tree on your first shot and you're probably trying to count that birdie in. The 18th, another par five at 720 feet. This has to be one of my favorite finishing holes in disc golf. Aesthetically pleasing with these two ponds at this snaking fairway. Allows for a lot of different strategy in terms of how far you wanna to try to get it off the tee. And uh, can be simple if your head's screwed on right, but one little mistake, you press too hard in the second shot, all of a sudden you can take that double or triple here and it's a, it's a good finisher for that, I think. Missy Gannon up first after her birdie on the last hole. She does a hyzer shot and lands safely in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, the key for these players is to have it come out of the hand on a little bit of hyzer. You don't want to push this one flat. That water will come up pretty fast. But from here, they're going to have a touchy up. Jin looking to go mid-range, possibly. Definitely a blunter edge disc there. Caroline playing a little low to high shot. Plops down. Good grouping there, everyone in an attackable range. The second shot's gonna be the tricky one on the hole though, likely. Own safe. She plays that very well. Is Jen going for the green? She's definitely trying to give herself at least a jump putt, I feel like. Cause she put full power on that one, or at least close to it. Missy also putting some high revs on this one. Flipping up a flat hyzer. Great looking shot from Jen and Missy. Oh, asking for it to go go, then sit sit. Almost never gonna work out if you're asking for it to do that much. You just gotta ask for one thing, Caroline. <laughs> one at a time. Caroline's upshot is out of bounds on that golf green before the basket. So we've got own. Oh, we see a. We haven't seen the, the save pine trees today, but yesterday was a theme for us. So own pulling it back to yesterday's theme. Good upshot from Caroline. She'll have a drop in here on the last hole. Yeah, with that tough start, it was nice to see how she battled back. Not. Maybe this hot of a back nine as she would have liked, but she showed a lot of poise and maturity for a young player. Missy and Jen with solid up shots. It's a good way to finish for Own. Yep, take advantage of that break. 
two Tear birdies back in a row. Two down. Yeah. And Missy, she put on a show today. Missy goes seven for nine on the back to get to six down. Impressive way to clean it up there. And we see Jen, Caroline, two over, own, two under, and Missy really scorched that back nine to go six down. Let's check out our leaderboard. And after that hot round for Missy, she's moved up to third place. We've got Jessica Weiss, a former champion in fifth. Stacy Ronsley's moved up as well as Haley King. Saw Alexis Mondujano's name in there as well as Holland Hanley. We appreciate you guys tuning in to this round two back nine coverage of the 2023 Las Vegas Challenge. Been a lot of fun. The weather was very cooperative today. Might not be as much tomorrow, but we'll see y'all there.